wasn't sure exactly how I'd feel about Kiki's Delivery Service because it's definitely not my personal style of animation. However, I'm a big fan of Debbie Reynolds and in the English dub, she voices a character called Madam. So I felt like, well, I need to give it a watch. And I'd heard a lot of praise for it. And honestly, I'm really glad that I had a reason to watch it because it is beautiful. It's on Netflix. It was originally released in 1989. And... This is about a young witch called Kiki. She's 13 years old and it's mandatory for a 13 year old witch to spend a year away from home, basically learning to find their feet, learning about themselves, kind of like a gap year in a way, and learning about what they want from life and what they want their kind of special skills to be. And Kiki decides that since she's pretty good at riding a broom, she decides to start up a delivery service, as you can imagine. And she's staying with this this baker um, in, in the attic. And I have to say the design of the buildings are wonderful. Everything feels very atmospheric. And it's just a style of animation. After kind of the first five minutes, I kind of got used to it. And I actually almost started to like it. It's never going to be my favourite style of animation. But actually, I enjoyed it more than I thought. And it's all about the people she encounters on her delivery service, a wide range of personalities, some who are not very pleasant, but many who are there to help her, who guide her, who help her to realise certain things that maybe she can't see because she can't see the wood for the trees. She's also got this black cat called Gigi, who can speak, and I love the cat. I love the character of the cat. I love the cat's personality. Without that cat, I maybe would have enjoyed it a little bit less. It definitely adds a, a real spark to it. And we follow her on this journey as she begins to discover, discover about herself in this kind of coming of age tale. And it's beautiful and it's really lovely. And she's got the opportunity to come into her own. I liked it a lot more than I thought. We also have a really great voice cast. Obviously, Debbie Reynolds melts my heart. Um, Kirsten Dunst voices uh, Kiki in this um, dubbed version. And... From start to finish, I thought her vocal performance was pretty fabulous. Uh, Gigi, in this particular version, is voiced um, voiced by Phil Hartman. And as I said, I love that character. I love the character's performance. His personality just absolutely adored him and so gorgeous. I know I said I didn't love the animation style, but I do love the animation style of Gigi. Really, really adored that cat. I had a lot of fun with it. It's beautiful. It's sentimental. It's moving. It's thought-provoking. Kiki is a really likeable protagonist. Gigi, obviously, I have a soft spot for. If, for whatever reason, you've been thinking of watching it and you haven't, definitely give it a go. As I said, it's not usually my style of animation. I probably wouldn't have gravitated towards this had I not had a reason. The reason being Debbie Reynolds. But I'm glad I had a reason because I'm glad I've finally seen it and given it a chance. It's really beautiful and, without question, definitely worth watching.